Banyana Bayana coach Desiree Ellis is one of the biggest advocates for women's sport in South Africa. A founding member of the women's national football team, she led Banyana to their first AFCON title win in 2022. She's now focusing on the team's second World Cup appearance. I think everybody's looking forward to, to getting ready for the World Cup. We know it's a big year, um, a very big year, um, not just for us, but for women in sport in South Africa. Um, and the players are really looking forward to it. South Africa will have to dig deep ahead of the World Cup. Since being crowned African champions, the team has come up short against the likes of Netherlands, Brazil, Australia and recently Serbia. It's our second World Cup and we're not naive, but we also have ambitions um, to get out of the World Cup. Would be a, a group stages would be a huge, huge boost. And then anything can happen from then onwards, you know, it's a, a knockout and you, you set up a plan and you play to the plan. To progress beyond the opening stages, Banyana will have to get past runner-ups Sweden, Argentina and Italy. Sweden is our first game um, and I think they're ranked third in the world. So we know that we're up for a big challenge and we need to work on everything leading up to it. Make sure we have everything, all our tactics in place and that everyone's on the same page and know what we're doing on the field. If we can get a win in, all, in one of the three games and obviously advance into the next round with obviously mean the world to us. It would definitely put a stamp on how much growth we've, we've made as a nation, as women's footballers in our country. South Africa has never made it beyond the round group stage in both the men's and women's competitions and will be hoping to book a historical place in the round of 16. The three other African sides, Morocco, Nigeria and Zambia, also face tough groups, but Nigeria are the favourites to advance beyond the group stages. Judy Shara, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.